And people have said Kenya, in fact, if you look at the figures, Kenya has overpaid its debt. We do not owe anybody anything. Huh? We have over overpaid our debt by more than a trillion, uh -huh. two trillion shillings. Oh. So, if you look at the figures in terms of what we have legitimately borrowed mm. and what the government has been paying over the years, when you do a balance sheet, you find that we have overpaid the debt. So this money that keeps going out, Senator, on a... When we pay, they don't, destroy, they don't subtract from what has been <laughs> borrowed. Those are the things we want. <laughs> and, these are, and these are the questions. Slamo like a mouthuge. Professor Ndungu, Ndungu. <coughs> you have got uh, Rotich, you have got Ruto, you have got Uhuru. These are the questions they need to answer. Senator, sorry. So where is this money going? I think it's just being pocketed. A, a, a big proportion of it is being pocketed. So what they just do, they try just to tamper around with a few interests so that you don't look like you've defaulted. But substantially clearing the debt, uh, a lot of the money is being pocketed. And that's why we need to just say, where does this money go? Because uh, money cannot disappear. Hmm. Kenya is at the risk of defaulting. And that's why the president is trying to say that let us squeeze everything we can in one year to raise a trillion shillings. And that's why we must come down and audit these debts. Some of these debts even did not reach Kenya. The money did not reach here. The money was paid offshore. There was a time the Uhuru government amended the Public Finance Management Act to allow for them to create offshore accounts to make payments offshore because under the law all money by government should come to the consolidated fund parliament should then decide to appropriate that money and the control of budget should control how it is now spent take an example of this year not a coin came into this country from china all money was paid in beijing the debt was factored here and that's one of the things I fought until the Court, the court of Appeal agreed with me and said that this thing was unconstitutional. And that's a basically an odious debt. Mm. We are now in the Supreme Court slugging it out. That's why these people came up with that, with that vehicle where they amended the Public Finance Management Act and purported to override the Constitution with an Act of Parliament. And now they borrow money offshore and keep it offshore. Is this the same issue that <clears throat> Edward Uku raised on the two, million, yes. two billion euro bond, the yes. one where the president almost yes. went ballistic on. And he nearly fired him. Was it for me that I went to court and stopped the firing of Ohuko until he finished his term? Mm. Ohuko stayed in office because of my court orders. Ohuko wanted to go to America to look for the money. Yeah, to look for the money. Because that money didn't come to Did Kenya. not come here. And now that money is due for payment. This, this, money, we, this money which didn't yeah, come did not to, come, to, it's due to Kenya. due for payment this year. Okay. You, like you have a house girl. Mm. Mm. Okay? You have a baby. Mm. You buy all the formulas and whatever. But when you come back, you find your baby has got cash. You wonder. You wonder you what everything is happening. That you and, and the housemaid is flourishing. Mm. <laughs> you see? So the maid is eating the child's, the baby's food. And the time has to come to fire that maid.